Do you understand what compound interest is really all about and how you can take advantage of it? Well, by the end of this video, I hope to show you how compound interest works and demonstrate how that works inside my whole life insurance policy. And lastly, being able to show you how you can do this yourself. So go ahead and subscribe to our channel and hit the notifications bell so you can be notified every time we post new videos. By the way, my name is Carmen, welcome. In today's video, I want to show you what compound interest looks like. And we talk about this in our masterclass, but I wanted to come on YouTube and share this information with you because it's so important for what we do. And if you want to watch our masterclass, you can definitely click on the link below and check out all the amazing information we have there. Now let's talk about compound interest and let me show you the power of it. And the example that I'm going to show you is what a penny looks like if you double it every single day. Now, why is this important? Is because what Darius and I talk about on our channel all the time is how our whole life insurance policy grows at a compounded rate. Now I'm gonna show you what my personal policy looks like as it compounds every year. But in this example, I just want you to see the visual of what compounding looks like and how powerful it is. So let's go ahead and flip to the screen. If you were to double a penny every single day, on the first day, you would have one penny. On the second day, you would have two pennies, right? Because it's doubling interest on top of interest. On day four, you would have eight pennies. On day 10, you would have $5 and 12 cents. Let's go 15 days out, you would have $163 and 84 cents. On day 20, you would have $5,242.88. You see how this is just constantly doubling as you look day by day. Now day 29, we would have $2 million. And day 30, we would have over $5 million, right? Because each day that penny is doubling every single day. Now, why is this important for you to see is because through compound interest, you have to keep your money sitting. You see with this whole example, you didn't see any withdrawals. You didn't see any, hey, let me get a little piece of that, a little piece of that, hey, I need to go on a vacation. You didn't see any of that. You saw the penny staying stagnant. <laughs> We're not doing anything with it because anytime we, we take a penny, it's going to affect the growth inside um, any account that you have compound interest growing. With this in mind, let's talk about why we value whole life insurance so much as far as being able to have access to capital. Every time we pay our premium, we have cash that is available inside our whole life insurance policy and it grows at a compounded rate. It's not gonna grow as aggressively as the example I just showed you because that's at 100% compounding. And I don't know any account that's currently doing that. If you do, definitely uh, let us know in the comments because we would love to, to learn a little bit more. Um, but with our whole life insurance policy, for example, it is growing, ours particularly is going to grow at a 4% compounded rate and it's annual. This is really important for you to know because of the stability that a whole life insurance insurance policy can provide to us and being able to provide that 4% compounded rate. Let's go back to the point as far as being able to access the money at your discretion. Anytime we uh, borrow money from our whole life insurance policy, we are not affecting the growth because we're not pulling from our specific policy. We're getting a loan from the life insurance company and that's why our money continues to compound as opposed to putting your money in a retirement account or an investment. Anytime you withdraw money from those accounts, you are affecting the compounding, right? Going back to the example that I showed you before, anytime you affect the compound rate, that is going to affect the growth. That's going to stunt the growth essentially and you never know what taxation or penalties you could be subjected to if you were to tap into these accounts. Now let's go to the screen and let me show you what my specific whole life insurance policy looks like with the compounded rate so you have some context. Okay, on the left hand side of this page, you will see the policy year followed by the, the things that I just wanna point out in this video is the total surrender value on the guaranteed side versus the non-guaranteed side. Now, what does this mean specifically is that the guaranteed side is what is in my contract. Should anything happen, these are the um, this is the amount of money that is available to me for my cash value that I can get a loan for. The non-guaranteed side simply means that a dividend is going to be paid out every year on my anniversary that is not guaranteed, however, has been paid out for over 100 years with this specific company. So if I receive a dividend, that is going to be uh, a little bit, that, that is gonna be a bonus, essentially, that is going to be applied to my life insurance policy. So you can see how five years into this policy, I would have 47,604 available 
as opposed to the non-guaranteed side if the dividend was not applied, I would have the difference of 45,000. So let's go ahead and just look at the non-guarantees for this example. Um, with When we look 10 years into this policy, and again, I just want you to look at every single year the growth that's happening inside this policy. We go from 10,000 to 18,000, 27,000, 40,000, 47,000, and you see the growth on and on and on. This is how a policy should be designed if you are accelerating the cash value, meaning you have cash available in the very first year and your money is going to continue to grow every single year in addition to the death benefit. Notice when the dividend is applied, my death benefit grows every single year in addition to the cash value. And this is just the policy by itself. I'm not talking about util utilizing the cash value to grow and to make investments. I'm just talking about how amazing the cash value grows inside the policy as long as I pay my premium. And the th thing that I want you to see is that, let's just look at year 10, for example. My premium is $4,000 and the growth between year nine and 10 is $8,044. So I don't know any account that you can go to where you pay $4,000 and you have eight available just inside the policy in addition to the death benefit, in addition to the tax-free growth, and in addition to the fact that I can utilize this money without any penalties. This is a big deal, folks. So that's why you have to understand the beauty of whole life insurance, what it can do for you, how powerful it can be for your family, and part two with this is learning how to take $84,000, for example, and apply that to an investment. I'm already making 4% compounded interest inside my policy when I get a loan. Remember, I'm not uh, disrupting the growth and I can apply that $84,000 into a real estate project, for example. Let's say I get 7% back on that and I marry the seven plus the 4% into my policy. I put all of that money back. That is going to substantially change the growth of this policy as long as I keep it inside my system. So that's why I wanted to share this opportunity with you all today to uh, make you understand the beauty of compound interest and how you can apply compound interest inside an environment like a whole life insurance policy to be exact and how you can do this yourself. So if you want to continue to learn how to use a whole life insurance policy to grow and sustain wealth, then definitely click on the link below. We would love to serve you at The Wealth Nation. And if you want to see more examples of how Darius and I use our whole life insurance policies to build wealth, then go ahead and click then go ahead and check out our next video so you can keep up with all of the amazing information that we're sharing on our channel. Don't forget to own your own lifestyle or someone else will.